Hi, everyone. It's Angel Shaver, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator. Oh, are you better? There we go. I hit the mute button so you don't have to hear that twice. I know with this camera, you can see my setup, my other camera, that oh, it's just the way it's going to be. So, I just want to fill you in on a few of the things that are going on right now. This is a brand new year, and it's a brand new catalog. The January through April 2023 catalog is now live along with the January, February 2023 celebration brochure. And if you know about celebration, you should get excited because you can earn free products. But I wanted to let you know that this is the only celebration that's happening in 2023. So if you're interested in earning the host reward, uh, go ahead and let me know and we'll get a virtual party set up in January or February. And also there are three options for the joining award. You can, for $129, you can get $175 worth of Stampin' Up! product of your choice, plus a mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, either in white or in boho blue, which is a new in color. It will be a 2023 through 2025 in color. Or if you don't want the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, you can get $175 of Stampin' Up! product of your choice for only $99. Plus tax free shipping. So if you're interested, make sure you let me know, leave a comment on Zoom or in Facebook or go to adaptivecrafting.com and you can shop from there, you can join from there, you can check out my blog. And eventually the video that's on today will be on there, plus previous videos. But we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to switch cameras and we're going to get started creating. So let me see if I can figure out how to switch here. All right. I'm actually watching the Facebook um, link right now. Wow, I'm not sure what's going on because you're only seeing this little tiny spot and that is not what you should be seeing. Give me a minute to fix this. I don't know why it zoomed in so close. But it is zoomed in very, very close. 
how do I choose that? Sorry about this, you guys. I had it all set up and then it went crazy. Okay, that seems to look better. We are making our second card with the warm welcome stamp set. And today we are making what looks like the outside of the house with an open door. So um, I hope that you enjoy what we're about to do. I have some options. So if you're watching live, which one of these three, well, there's actually four options would you like for the wallpaper on the inside of the house? We have, just really briefly, I don't like this one. We have the black and white crosses, the black and white lines, or the gray um, texture. Let me know, leave me a comment on Facebook, that's what I'm watching today. And um, when we get to it, I will look at which one wins. Okay. We are using the Starry Sky cardstock. It's cut and a piece of in half by 11 paper is cut in half vertically to make four and a quarter by 11, then folded in half to make four and a quarter by five and a half. I have a piece of basic white cut four by five and a quarter from the inside, a piece of Mary Merlot cut four by five and a quarter for the outside. And then we have some um, scrap of starry sky and basic white for some of our stamping that we'll be doing, which that's what we're going to start with. I only brought um, the Tuxedo Memento Ink, which is black, and Mango Melody, which we may or may not use for this card. First thing we're going to do is stamp the door itself. Put it on an e block, it's all ready to go, and I'm getting the ink on it. Okay. And there we go. Think that might be all I need on the starry sky paper. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. 
careful with those close to the open black ink pad. Okay, I am going to want We are putting a cat on this part. I will stamp it on the white. You know what? I that's why I brought the mango melody. I think that's the color of cat. So that's what we're going to do. Stamp a mango milk. And then I'm also going to stamp the cat on the inside of the I'll decide for now. Your paper's all trying to land on my wet channel, which would not be good for it. Okay, besides the cat, I also want to stamp the arm holding the bouquet of flowers. Close my mango melody because I'm done with it. And the last thing I'm going to stamp are the sentiments for both the inside and the outside of the All right, if we have knowing you feels like coming home. And let's spend time again. That's what I'm going to stamp on the inside of the card. Was on my black, so I don't get it anywhere else that I'm not supposed to. And 
And now I'll be pulling over my cut and emboss machine. And again, I have the big one today because we are going to dry them. Sorry about that. I just dropped all my parts for this. We're going to dry moss the outside with the bricks. We're going to have making a brick house. Just try to pick up all the parts I dropped everywhere. At one point, I had everything picked out and laid on my magnet sheet. But I seem to not be able to find one at this moment. It blew quite a ways back here. So, all right, I've got. Everything back. So here we go. We're going to start by embossing our Mary Marilla layer. We put down the base plate. And then we are going to stick the Mary Merlot layer in the brick embossing folder and put the 3D plate on top and send it through. And there we have our brick embossed third layer. Can't really see it very well. I'm not sure if you can see it better there or not, but there it is. Okay, we'll look at it in a minute. There it is. Now we're going to do the die cut. And for that, we put down the base plate and then the die cut plate. And then the cutting plate number one. And we're just going to do the starry sky. If you're watching live, let me know which one of the um, wallpaper patterns you would like to see used. White with black crosses, white with black lines, or gray texture. And there's our open doorway. I'll go ahead and get our basic white piece on there with all our little outlines with those cut out. This is our arm with the bouquet. Right. 
cute little kitty. And this is going to be our doormat. Knowing you feels like coming home. I hope that comes up. Oh, well, that did not come out well at all. The kitty did. And the sentiment did. But our bouquet and holding the bouquet of flowers did not. So I'll need to re-stamp that and recut it. Grab my black ink. And stamp. Yes, that's over here. It did not stay well. That's okay. That just means I put the paper over and try it again. It's better. Okay, now we'll try to line it up and get a better bouquet of flowers. much better this time all right i am not seeing votes yet and it is time for me to cut the wallpaper that will be behind the open door so white with black crosses, white with black lines, or the gray texture. What are you thinking? Well, I'm just going to choose And I'm choosing the gray texture. This will be our open door wallpaper.
from the Sunfrit Designers Series paper. The back of the images that look like um, little flowers laid out on that sun sensitive paper is a really cool spray. And this one is sure. All right, now we're going to grab all of our parts and put the card together. First thing I'm going to do is glue my inside into the inside of the card. And then I'm going to create the outside of the card. Which now I know we have a perfect floral image. There it is, but I left it over here. And we also have a cat, but I'm not sure where he is either. Here he is. Was hiding. Okay. I'm gonna take a minute and do add some color to our stamped images. to use the blending pen with the mango melody to add just a little more color to the pen. Right. And then I'm using my stamp blends to add some color to my bouquet of flowers. If you are going to use stamp blends, make sure that it's on something that is a layer. I'm going to add a little bit of light full olive to the flowers. Or mid the leaves. And some daffodil of light to the actual flowers themselves.
I'm gonna get some of my natural color blends out. I just realized you can't even see what I'm doing. I want an ivory for the paper that this is wrapped in. A little bit of old olive on the stems as well. So it goes right there, and the one sticking out under the Now I'm going to choose one of the colors out of my natural tones for the hand. And then we will pick something for the sweater, maybe some kind of blue. Okay, might be a good choice. And we're going to do every other stripe. One light, one dark. All right. Uh, now I'm going to show you why it's important that you only use the blends on items that you have layers that are layers because this is what the back looks like. Well, not the stamp version, but you can see the color blends through, bleeds through. So if you are doing it directly on your card front, when they open the card, they're going to see a muted version of Elizabeth. If that's the look you're going for, go for it. But just be aware that that's what's going to happen. All right, now we are going to put this all together. The door is open. So we're going to put the wallpaper in that you would see through the open door. And 
the cat is greeting you. As well as someone is handing you a bouquet of flowers as you come to the door. I'm going to grab some dimensionals to pop that up and help it um, stick better to our embossed brick wall. And then put a couple of dimensionals on our sentiment mat, doormat, that says, knowing you feels like coming home. Then we will glue the brick wall to the front of the card. And there we have today's card, but I am going to add a doorknob. We the doorknobs just add the smaller of the brush metallic dots. There it is. Okay. Here is week two's warm welcome card. Knowing you feels like coming home. You open it up and this is let's spend time together. There's another kitty. I hope you enjoyed this card. And next week is week three. So we will be making a Christmas card using the Warm Welcome stamp set, and I will see you then.